George Clooney is one of Hollywood's hottest, sexiest, most charismatic leading men. But did you know that as a teenager, he suffered from Bell's palsy, a condition that paralysed his face, closing his left eye and earning him the cruel nickname Frankenstein. He says this was the worst time in his life, but the experience made him stronger. Despite his chiselled, handsome looks, when starting out in Hollywood, he struggled to find work, sleeping in a friend's closet to save on rent. Now known for his sophistication, it's a shock to discover that one of his early roles was in the film Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Well, you know, you work and you work and hope that you can get a movie like something with a killer tomato in it. I'm quite proud of it. His big break came on the medical drama ER, making all us women want a hot doctor like Dr. Ross. But the down-to-earth George isn't phased by his fame and plays down his mega popularity. Being very famous is not any of the things that you'd think it is, but no one wants to hear you complain about it, so you don't. You just go, okay, it's fine. While working on ER, he began his movie career starring in action films like Batman and Robin and The Peacemaker. In 1998, a dream came true when he got to work with one of his idols, director Steven Soderbergh on Out of Sight. You know, most of us start from the same place. We all did tons of bad theater, and then you do better theater, and then you do tons of bad TV, and then you do better TV. You do some bad films or some mediocre films, and you try and do better and better projects. And so always through all of that, you'll see sexualizing videotape and go, that's a great movie. That's a guy you want to work with. While Clooney is known for making films that make a political statement, he also loves working with great directors, like the famous duo The Coen Brothers. In 2000, he collaborated with them, agreeing to star in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I got a call the Coen Brothers when I come to Phoenix and talk to you about something. I was like, you're kidding, I'd never met him before. And they flew in and they slapped the, the, um, the script down and we were in a lobby of a hotel. And they handed it to me and they said, do you, we wrote this, we want to know if you want to do it. And I said, yeah. Huh. And uh, I couldn't believe my luck. I couldn't believe how lucky I was that they asked me to do it. The role involved singing and always up for a challenge, George practiced and practiced. But sadly, no amount of practice would make perfect and his voice was dubbed over. This didn't seem to harm his performance as he went on to win a Golden Globe for the film. I think when you uh, list the... Uh the names of the actors that are in the, uh, the category that I'm in, I, you gotta figure I'm gonna win this, you know. <laughs> Robert De Niro, you know, Cusack, Carey, Mel Gibson, what have they done? The successful Steven Soderbergh and Clooney combo hit an all new high, teaming up again for the ultra suave and smooth Ocean's Eleven, with a dream cast of A-list actors, including Julia Roberts, Brad Pitt, and Matt Damon, becoming his most successful film to date, raking in $444 million worldwide with a string of sequels to follow. In 2002, he jumped behind the camera and made his directorial debut with Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. He also appeared in the film. Now that's impressive multitasking. So what does the actor Clooney think of the director Clooney? Oh, he's an ass. Yeah? Yeah, he's not nice. I tell you, I don't... You know, the problem is he just never would come out of his director's trailer because I never saw him on the set. Every time I looked up for a director, there was no director. So cheeky. George's dad is a well-known newsreader in Kentucky. And earlier in his career, George followed in his father's footsteps working as a broadcast journalist. This experience definitely influencing his decision to direct Good Night and Good Luck. Something my father did for 35 years, and it's a part of my life growing up. And, uh, and it was about holding the fourth estate responsible for things, which I've done, which he's done, which I think most people are interested in doing, and continually at least having that conversation. And I thought it was a time to talk about issues like using fear to attack civil liberties. George is very politically minded. He's been honoured for his humanitarian work as a UN messenger of peace and believes that addressing issues in film can make a difference in real life. Maybe it's Brian De Palma's film and uh, Syriana and Good Night and Good Luck and all these films combining together that people go, OK, enough, you know? Men want to be him, women want to be with him and we all want to see more of him on the big screen. And I'm sure there's plenty more to come from the silver fox, George Clooney. Stay tuned to Star Picks for more of the movies you know and the actors you love. 
broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.